hello hello everyone so once again this is your brain yours truly so welcome back to my channel i know it has been a very busy month for me sharing to you another video lesson so i hope you are still learning and you are still with me so i hope you are all doing fine and let's all praise the lord you know, for the gift of life friendship and love so thank you so much for that so for today's i'll be explaining to you another lesson in the subject of reading visual art so we will finish everything no in relation to that subject no so our last discussion is we'll be talking about let's learn about the meaning of sculpture so the importance and meaning of sculpture in reading visual arts so as you can remember we talked about painting we talk about architecture and the last is we are going to talk about the meaning and importance of sculpture so if you can still remember what is sculpture so if you can still rem remember your high school journey you know, what is sculpture so do you think sculpt sculpture is very important to us so it's artwork so let's talk about sculpture so what is sculpture so based on research sculpture is thought of as creative sensitive and original thinker so when you talk about sculpture you are using your ability to think you are analyzing things you are very sensitive you are very creative you are very resourceful so there's a lot of skills that is badly needed when when you when you want to do sculpting no so but as we all know that sculpture is needs a lot of thinking some people would also tell us that there's a lot of physical demands when you when you want to engage yourself in in sculpting so a sculpture's work can be back breaking so what is back breaking so what is back breaking so when you talk about back breaking as they say that sculpture or when you do sculpting it demands a lot of physical hard work it's a physical it's physically demanding so you need to think and it also requires a lot of time a lot of effort when you talk about sculpture so it is physically demanding it is back sculpture puts together into a beautiful meaningful shape such materials as stone wood metal and other hard materials so when you talk about sculpture it is this back breaking it is physically demanding it needs a lot of thinking creativity hard work and also they need materials such as stone wood metal and other hard materials there are people who are very good at sculpting they are very skillful they know how to do things in their own creativity they are original thinker they do not they do not copy what uh they create their own art so that is a sculpture so the sculpture must have a great deal of technical knowledge yes it needs a lot of technical knowledge it needs a lot of skill one he must know a good piece of stone from bad one and just how much force that stone can take before it cracks meaning the sculpture must have a great deal of technical technical knowledge you must know how a good piece of stone from a bad one you should know how to identify number two is he must judge the quality of wood so uh, a sculpture so you must choose or you were able to judge the quality of wood that you are going to use number three is he must learn how much water or different kinds of clay need to stay workable so you must know how much water you needed for your artwork number four is if he cast his own models he must know the chemistry of metals and other melting point so it needs a lot of technical knowledge no so that's why i really do appreciate uh individuals who are good at sculpting no it's not easy it's physically demanding that's why when you buy a a good sculpture it is very expensive because you are also paying the technical knowledge of the person you're also paying the hard work that is invested in that sculpture so in short now that we are now having a modern sculpture it is frequently 
needs individuals who are very competent in welding a reverter and a machinist so it needs a lot of technical knowledge so it needs a lot of technical knowledge when you talk about sculpture so before a sculpture begins to work he must decide first what materials he will use yes or he will use by the stone or the wood or the metal and other hard materials so he may choose something as rare and costly as ivory or he may want to use common clay the sculpture may decide between a material that is permanent and one that is must be made permanent so each kind has its own disadvantages and advantages okay so he must decide what material he will use he may choose a very expensive one or the not so expensive one so a stone like marble is of course very hard so carving must be done with great strength and at the same time with great delicacy yes when you're going to use a marble a stone is very hard no so if you are not familiar if you don't have the technical ability the technical skills when you talk about sculpting so you will not do a great work in this aspect so in short mistakes so if you are a sculpture mistakes are difficult to repair yes so when you do carving it's really hard no it's you need to be precise you need to be accurate when you talk about sculpture because it's very difficult to repair and too much force can cause breakage but when a marble statue is carved and polished the sculpture's work is great okay so that is the the cue no so if you're able to carve a great artwork or polish a certain thing the sculpture's work is great that's why it is very important for us to consider that being a sculpture is not easy it takes a lot of technical knowledge your technical skills your creativity your so in modern times in our times today the sculpture has turned to new materials, right? Before, they are just using our natural resources like the stone, the wood, the metals, and other hard materials. Now, because of our modern times, we are now using such as plastic, fiberglass, stainless steel, and aluminum. So it is changing, it is evolving. So there are a lot of features of a sculpture. So characteristic or features to look for a piece of sculpture as in other forms of art are the following. So we have the features of sculpture. Number one is the line. So in sculpting, they are also very concerned with the line. These lines could be horizontal, vertical, and diagonal. Again, these lines lead the viewer's eyes full of perspective of the subject of the sculpture. So I've seen a lot of sculpture no, uh, in public places, no, like the statue of Jose Rizal, Dr. Jose Rizal. No? It's being displayed in our plaza in the public places. No? And we also need to consider a color. Color is very important in sculpting colors is the decorative element put into the art piece so the piece the piece of art remains natural in color but in some cases it is added some color especially when you are using some glass or plastic so color is generally referred to as its property you and value okay so we need to be also be concerned with the color number three feature of sculpture is texture Texture is our ability to touch a certain object. And this is very important in sculpt sculpting, no? in sculpture. Because this aspect, this pieces, which could be felt within our hands. So we could feel that we could touch it. That is texture. That's why if you are the one making that statue, no? you need to be careful. You need to think the line, the color, the texture, and also the volume. The volume it means if means solidity or thickness so when you talk about volume volume in sculpture volume is very uh, is very important because a sculpture occupies space yeah volume is very important because again a sculpture occupies space perspective 
So perspective refers to the depth or the distance. So when you talk about perspective, you have different perspective, right? So the two features of perspective are we have the linear and the aerial. Okay, the linear and the aerial. So when you talk about linear, perspective means that the figures become smaller as they recede into the distance. Okay, while the aerial perspective here, so it means that the figure becomes fainter or less visible in the distance. So this is this perspective is due to the atmosphere effect. So if we can see the figure, that is the aerial perspective. If the figure becomes smaller, it's the linear perspective. We also have the, the form. So artists in sculpting or a sculpture, artists' favorite designs, we have the triangles, the circles, and the rectangles. Okay, so there are two kinds of forms. We have the, the closed form and the open form. So you talk about the closed form, it shows the elements of art. It shows the elements of the pieces of art is contained within the frame, which focuses the eye to the picture. Meaning the closed form, it focuses the eye of the picture. While the open form, it extends the viewing outside the piece of art or the outside becomes a part of it. And also we have the style. Artists show individuality in their art style. Yes, they show difference. So for if you are a sculpture, you also want to establish your own individuality. So there is no duplication with your artwork. They show because we are different people living in this. Diff we have a lot of perspective. Um, we have a lot of differences in our likes and dislikes. We have a temper outlooks in life and backgrounds as a child adolescent or adult they also fit their style to their subject yes their lifestyle if i am good at this so i will do something that will fit my lifestyle the environment where they move the time and place in where the artists live that's why if you are living in the, in province no so your your sculpture might also be an expression of the life here in the province okay so we also have we also have this one we are done talking about the modern sculpture now let's talk about the greek sculpture so the greeks believe so when you talk about uh, the greek people the greek people believe that man as the measure of all things so that is their belief so that's why their uh, sculpture is very focused on the fondness of the human form so if if they are they are very fond of using human form as their as their form of art in sculpture so the greeks uses freestanding figures so they are using, uh, for example, the body of a woman, the body of a man. So they are trying to portray that. That is a perfect example of the Greek sculpture. Okay, Renaissance. We have the Renaissance sculpture. So as what you can see, I've, I'm sharing a very simple uh, picture of a Renaissance sculpture. So in the 15th century, the Italy sculpture was on the lead extending for the new, next 200 years years so we have the renaissance sculpture so there's a lot of ch changes when you talk about sculpting so we also have the baroque to rococo sculpture so if we're going to uh if you just visited churches no so the characters are generally religious figures so churches there's a lot of churches here in the philippines who are now using baroque to rococo sculpture uh they are they are the characters are generally religious figures baroque sculpture generally uses very conceivable type of armamentation okay so we also have the neoclassic and modern sculpture so now the style is characterized with with a more refined and dignified uh figures Okay, so meaning the term noble means that parts are proportioned while well 
considering standard dimension. Subjects are generally heroes who are devoted to sacrifice for a noble cause. So perfect example is the statue of Dr. Jose Rizal, uh, of our national heroes here in the Philippines. And it's, that is a perfect example of neoclassic and modern sculpture. Okay. So modern sculpture, this could be seen in statues that adorn public buildings parks plazas and other places where people convene yes so they are using a modern sculpture so now that we are living in a modern world no there's a lot of uh sculpture uh showing a human body uh showing showing um a lot of figures like like a father and a son so it is being displayed in public places no they use sculpture as part of landscaping yes so sculpture of today reveals the expression of service and a revelation of love of earth and man so we also have the famous filipino sculptures we have tolentino abueba saprid castrillo so most of their works are landmarks in places of interest in the Philippines. So if you go somewhere, if you go to international countries, no, they are also having their own sculpture. And it's a good thing no, because they are trying to express their love of earth and the man. They are trying to reveal the essence of human form, the essence of our national heroes, they are trying to display that uh, in a public place, uh, showcasing their own talents and skills. So that's why when you talk about sculpture, sculpture is needs a lot of uh, creativity, resourcefulness. Uh, you, you should be an original thinker. Uh, you should be sharing your own sense of individuality. But it needs a lot of hard work. So when you talk about sculpture, it needs a lot of hard work. It needs a lot of technical knowledge. Uh, before, we are using stone, wood, uh, clay, other hard materials. But now we are evolving since we are now in a modern times. We are now using plastic, fiberglass, aluminum. So there's a lot of changes now. But the main idea of sculpture is... As long as you are able to showcase your own individuality, showcasing your talents and skills, that is very important in the field of sculpture. Thank you so much for watching. I really do hope that you are learning from all the videos that I've posted. Hopefully, I was, I was able to help you in my own little way. So please keep posted for more videos like this. So I'll be explaining another video lessons and I will be consolidating everything and put it in a one playlist uh, every time I'm done with all my discussions for that subject. Thank you so much and I'll see you again for my next video blog. Thank you and God bless you.